Using a Teflon pan is bad for you and it puts PFAS into your body. I'm gonna debunk like a lot of Teflon myths in just like in under three minutes, all right? But stick with me because there's a lot of information here. Okay, so PFAS are known as the toxic forever chemical. There's over 10,000 different kinds of them. And Teflon is probably the most famous kind of PFAS. Teflon is a fluoropolymer. And that means it actually has a mixture of different PFAS, you know, chemically bound together to then create Teflon. So DuPont, who is the main producer of Teflon, they said that Teflon was totally safe, right? But they said a number of lies, all of which have now been debunked, okay? So the first thing they said is that Teflon microplastics, when they break off, they're so big that your body won't absorb them. But that's totally not true because we've now found Teflon microplastics in lots of different parts of the human body. We found it in um, placentas, right? Um, human semen. So basically the more Teflon microplastics a man had in his semen, the more infertile he was. And it wasn't like that with any other type of plastic, right? But another lie they also said, starting PFAS chemicals that are used to make Teflon are extremely bad, right? PFOA and PFOS, those used to be the starting PFAS to make Teflon, okay? And they were phased out of use across the world. DuPont said that they were gonna use a super safe type of PFAS to now make Teflon. However, that's also a lie because that type of PFAS has now found to be almost more toxic because it's more mobile than PFOA and PFOS ever were. Using Teflon pans, not only does it put microplastics into your body, but it's also going to leach those toxic PFAS into your body, right? So those original starting PFAS, which have now been shown to be linked to tons of different cancers, those will leach out of those Teflon microplastics into your body, which is another lie that DuPont used to say. And don't take my word for it, there's a whole systematic review showing many, many studies that in fact prove this, right? And there's lots of studies where they use Teflon utensils, right? Like cooking things on the stove and they found that the saltiness of a food or the pH level of a food, the fat level of a food, those things actually influenced the amount of PFAS that would leach out of that Teflon into your food that you would then end up eating, okay? Again, these things are linked to brain cancer and literally just like a shortened lifespan. Not millions of Teflon microplastics will come out of one imperceptible scratch. And again, the toxic cancer causing PFAS are going to come out into your food. And there's been lots of studies that show that like people that have older Teflon pans, they have more PFAS in their bodies, right? Because the older a pan is, the more it's gonna start accelerating the breakdown, right? Which is why people that have older Teflon pans, they actually have higher amounts of that toxic cancer-causing PFAS in their body. So yeah, Teflon's not safe. Don't even get me started on why it's still legal because yeah, I mean, I do think that the billions of dollars spent on lobbying our governments have, have something to do with why it's still legal.